Welcome back to Advent of Code and today we solve day three. Day three is about a map. And you have to, you start from the bottom left, a dot is an empty uh, space, hash is a tree. So you start from the top left and then you go on a line the line um, direction is right three down one, so it means you have to go three um, spots to the right, one spot down, and you just have to do that, like that, like the X and O's, and you count how many trees that you're passing, and this is it. So we're just going to take that. Oh, I think I've just I've just filled it already. Uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to create a class constructor uh, map this that map equal map i think it's good time in this advent of code to start using a bit more cleaner code because there might be some challenge in the next days that we use the challenge of the previous days. So that's why I'm starting to create a map because maybe we're gonna be reusing this kind of uh, map. So the specific thing about this map is that we just give, the print statement just gives us a slice of the map and this map is gonna repeat vertically uh, as much as possible. So, yeah, that's basically it. We're gonna say get position x y, and basically we have to return this that map of y of x. And here, this is the interesting part. Basically, once you reached the end of the map on this side. You're gonna, need, you're gonna need to go back on this side. So basically x is gonna be x modulo this dot map zero dot length. I believe this should be it. <laughs> so this is a bit like shooting a bit in the dark, so we're gonna see. Uh, so let's say const map is equal new map. Here we have to pass the lines. However, the lines uh, are going to be basically this is going to be a string. This is going to be a string, so we need to split that. So line that map line, and we return the split line. That should be it. So now it's going to be about um, let position is equal. Or let's say let x equals zero let y equals zero let trees equal zero as well and now we're gonna say um while y here we're gonna say the get height I'm gonna return this dot map length. Let me remove this. Okay, that's have a bit more view, a bit more space for the code now. Uh, so we need to check if map dot get height. Yeah, we need to make sure that y is below this. And while we have that, we can say uh, const current we do get uh, map that get position so yeah I have to say using a class here is making the code a lot more verbose like I have like a lot more lines could do that in a lot less lines but I think as I was saying it's better to start using clean code cleaner code okay so this is it you can say if current is equal to a hash, then uh, trees plus plus. Um, 
and now we can say x plus equal three i believe and y plus equal one let me just make sure this is the case write three down one yes so that's how we're gonna make this work and then here we can just uh, log the trees let's try this out node day three actually the js oh i forgot to save <laughs> of course seven okay so i believe this is the correct answer yeah we should encounter seven trees so that's correct now we're going to get the puzzle input because an input is quite big that's perfect and i believe this is still yeah we still need to go right three down one and we have 259 trees that we are encountering let's see yes that's correct let's dive right now in the second part of the challenge okay so we have several slopes now okay okay we have to find how many trees we get following several slopes and multiply that so we're going to be refactoring this code saying a function um, try slope and dx dx dy return trees here this is d, dx delta x and delta y and now we can try this and there are a couple of slopes so we're going to be manually typing those Oop, get that so uh, first of all we have to do try slope uh, which is three and one for the part one and now we have this part two where we have to um, let's create an array of arrays so one one three one five one seven one and one two const slopes And basically what we need to do, we need to do for of slope of slopes uh, const result, no, let result because we're going to be assigning something to it. We can say results time equal try slope of um, slope. So here we're like spreading this array into the arguments, into two arguments. And here we can just log um, the result. Let's try that. So yeah, hopefully, uh, no, not hopefully, but like we, do, we want to first try that with the simple uh, test case and test scenario. We should get 336. That's correct. So now we can go back to our big input. And we should be good. Let me copy paste that. Now I run that again. Day three. We have this huge number that I'm pasting in here. And let's see, do I have a bug or am I done? We're done for today. Thank you very much for today. You can uh, leave a like, leave a subscription as well. Maybe leave a nice comment. 
and I'll be back tomorrow for the next one. Thank you very much for the interest in uh, this series and see you. Bye-bye.